All right, class. Are we all ready? I'm sorry, I'm a little tall. Are we all ready for class today? Yo, type a one in the chat if you guys are ready for class today. Today, we're going to be having our first quiz, chapters one through three. Obviously, because I know all of you guys have been tuning in and also been studying, okay? Now, we did have some homework, so please join the Discord. Please, the, the turn-in basket is right over there inside the Discord. Uh, the homework, I'm sure all of you guys did it. I'm sure all of you guys did it. Because who would be a worm and not do the homework inside Six Show Academy? I don't want to see anybody skipping homework. I don't want to have to call anyone's parents, okay? I don't want to have to call anyone's parents. Okay? This is not a good start for us. The homework. Chat. Right now. What, 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 is, what, is the, what was the homework, chat? If you actually did your homework... You would know what it is. Your dog ate your homework. <laughs> you think that shit flies in my class? My name is Professor Legion. You think that shit flies? You know what happens when you don't do your homework? When you are walking home. You might want to be careful, okay? You might want to be careful. I'm telling you right now, when one of these motherfuckers are in your leg, you don't want to. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to do anything. You're going to have to call 911. You're going to step on one of these things. So do your homework, chat. All right, let's get into it. Lesson number three. Oh, yeah. How, chat, class, how are you guys doing today? You guys doing good? How are you guys doing today? Doing good, chilling. Cause what they hear is what they hear. All right, chat. Today's class will be our first map mastery. Our first map mastery. Let's go and pull it up. But yep, homework is officially due. If uh, if you turn your homework late, I will only revise up to a sixty percent. So we'll be going through the homework category right now. Anything posted past is not allowed. Not allowed. All right. We're going to go ahead and give an Athena charm code to a random person who did their homework. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we have plenty. We have plenty. Good. Good, 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 good. I'll choose a random person. Okay, we have a lot of homework sense. Very good, very good. Okay, let's choose, um, who has the Athena? Yeah, I choose someone without the Athena charm. Yikes, what the heck, bro? Are you playing on shrooms? What is going on in this clip? Why is it so goddamn bright? Who is planting on the box? Jesus. Oh, he doesn't have the Athena charm on. Okay, how many kills did he get? How many kills? Jesus, my eyes. Okay, one headshot. Yeah, one headshot. And that is headshot number two. Okay. Not bad, but the home you know, the homework was to not bleed my eyes, okay? The homework was to not bleed my eyes, bro. Alright, homework complete. Brother, why did you send me an entire Shrek movie, bro? Holy smokes. Do I have to click click skip through this, bro? Mm, too long, too long, but good job you did the homework though. Too long though. Let's find this one. Bro's got the uh, platinum charm on. That is one kill. Okay. God pebbles. And that is two kills. My man. My man. Let me give you an Athena charm. Let me give you an Athena charm. Tomas dot dot dot. Let me pull up my notes. Okay, I'm giving you a charm code right now, Tomas. Yesterday at 5.54 p.m. All right, homework channel. 
and everyone else that did their homework, good job, good job. There will be more opportunities in the future for the Athena charm, but please always do your homework, always do your homework. Do not be skipping. If you skip, I will find out, and I will fail you in the class. Yesterday? All right, Tomas. I just sent you an Athena charm code. That is a charm code for you to use. So, good job on the homework, chat. Good job on the homework. Let's hop into lesson number three. Any questions before we start? Oh my god, why am I not here? Wait, why didn't y'all say anything? Bruh. Bro, my camera is so yellow for some reason. What the fuck? Why is it doing this? Hold on. This might help it a little bit. My camera is acting up right now. One second. All right, whatever, that works. All right, but let's get into lesson. Lesson number three. We have a map mastery. Okay. All right, where is it? Slides. Map mastery in Chile. All right, let's get into it, though. But chat, yeah, any questions? Any questions before we start the class? Any questions before we start? Can you have $10? Get a job like the rest of us, guys. Get a job like the rest of us. Here, I have, I have a sweet idea, actually. It's my help. There we go. Looks a lot better now. After this, will you own Chalet? Yes. Your dog just died? Hey, let's get an F in the chat, man. Hey, your dog's in a better place, man. Get an F in the chat, man. L Reader? Okay, that is crazy, bro. That is actually crazy, bro. All right. Well, yeah, Map Mastery is our... So uh, our, our uh, third class today. Let's start with a warm up chat. Please pull out your pen and your pencil and your notepad or whatever thing you have to take notes down. Please, we're gonna take thirty seconds for you to think on your answer. The first question of the warm up is: What are your favorite bomb sites to attack on Chalet, and why? Put your favorite bomb site in the chat right now on Chalet. Basement, top, kitchen. I'm surprised nobody said bar. All right, now defending now, now defending. What is your favorite bomb site to defend now? Put that in the chat. Top, master, basement, bar, top. I do like some top myself. All right. Well, yeah, it looks like we have some good answers so far. It looks like you guys are pretty well, genuinely educated. All right. But before we get into it, I know we have a uh, real quick right now. Type a one in the chat. If you are, this is your first class right now. If this is your first class, the, the quiz might be hard today for you, but, you know, we will still be educating. So, welcome all of the new students. Please, everyone, give a warm welcome to all of the new students in class today. Now, we must understand, no matter your rank or your skill, 
These bombsite setups can be performed anywhere. Now you might be wondering, but I'm in lower elo. I don't, I don't think you should do this. Listen, avoiding the proper site setup is unproductive and it's only going to set you back further. Why would you perform the wrong side setup? My team doesn't know. Yeah, man, fuck your team. In lower elo, you may reinforce some head holes, optional head holes, if it hurts your team. But perform as much as possible. Now, let's start with the master class. We'll be going into a custom game and we will be having short demonstrations, not too long. But some short demonstrations. Okay. All right. We'll first focus on Master Bedroom. Any questions about Master Bedroom? I'll be I'll be going through it. Do you have any questions? Answer now, or please forever hold your peace. Please forever hold your peace. Bomb location secure. All right. Let's go ahead and mute that. All right. Well, master. What operators should you bring on Master? You should be bringing Wall Denial, a Trap Operator, another Trap Operator, Projectile Denial, and Roam. Now, what operators you might think? Wall Denial. So, our main objective is to keep the wall closed as much as possible. So, this is the main wall. Bandit, Cade, Mew, any sort of impact tricking is okay. Now, trap operator. You need at least two trap operators. These can obviously, obviously be a little flexible, but this is generally what you want to bring. Two trap operators. Where would traps go? Traps would go on any kind of uh, doorway or window that people tend to hop in through from, you know, Bob the Staircase, the window hop in, you know, piano. Traps give information in sound cues, which is very, very crucial. And the last person you can choose is a roam. This could be, you know, a warden, a 1.5. This person should be roaming. Uh, roaming and all that kind of stuff. So let's break it down. How 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 do you how do you do master from the start to the beginning? To keep it very simple, obviously the main objective is to hold on to the bomb site. You know, you don't want to make sure anybody gets any control of a master or here. Now you're going to get a lot of pushes from solar side or you're going to get a lot of pushes from library side. So your main goal is to try to keep this wall closed as long as possible. People away from this door and this door. And that's pretty much it. If they do a solo overtake, which means they come this side of the map, they're going to try to open up this wall. So you want to put some bandit batteries on that one. And all that kind of stuff. Trap operators for bottom here is very, very crucial as well. Um, but not only you need to defend this, you need to be holding on to library. The reason why you want to be holding over here is because this map control can, can help make the attack harder. When you are shooting their aces off, you know, you're challenging them. They have the drone up here. They're struggling to get in a library. You generally want to hold on to a roam for about a minute 30. Move the cam bottom left. Oh, y'all can't see the slide? Okay, okay, my fault, my fault, my fault. Let's put, let's put me up here. Move cam bottom left. Is this better, chat? Yes or no, is this better? Let's see how it looks. Looks better, right? Okay, sorry, didn't see. But yeah, now that we know we need to defend, uh, we need to hold on to library and then slowly give it up on the roam for about a minute and 30. And then we retreat back to site and we play the bomb site. So how do we set it up? 
I'll show you very quickly. Gonna wall reinforce the main wall, obviously. Reinforce main wall. And then these piano holes, you're gonna want to the left side, so that way you can protect the stuff on the wall. Head holes or foot holes is okay, but let's just do head holes for now. Now you're going to do head holes in between sites. This way you can see and help between sites. Want to make the rotate on this side right here so you are covered from K9. You're going to want to make footholds here so you can contest solarium. Going to reinforce the right side here. You often feel isolated when you're holding library. That's the thing, you will need teammates. Let me, let me go ahead and tell you the positions then. So now that we have all of the holes over here, have the holes over here. Our traps, secondary ga gadgets, as barbed wire, legion mines, thorn mines. A very good rule of thumb is you always want to put traps to go off in sound and encounter the enemy first. What I mean by this, if I am standing right here, what do you think is going to help me more with my back turned to the staircase? Barbed wire right here where they can completely give me some back shots or down here. Now they cannot hit me from behind as fast. I will have more time to react. So that's a key for tips. Now the library setup. Oh, you feel isolated when you're holding library. I got you, man. Follow this exact setup. Follow this exact setup. You see all these walls I'm reinforcing? These walls are not just by random. They are actually... So that way you have the, the most... The minimum required amount of cover. You don't want to go too crazy, but just enough so you can hold a position without getting wall banged from the windows. So we're going to put head holes here. Head holes here. Again, if you're not comfortable with head holes, you can just not make them. However, it will be very unproductive to do that. So if you feel isolated... The first position you would want to play, you do not want to play inside library because you are cut off. Instead, you have more of a chance of surviving. Collect as much drones, and remember, a minute 30. First position is this right here. You are safe from everywhere, however, you are still a contestion. If you are getting droned out heavy, hop over the hop over the main balcony, avoid the main door, and sprint under bar, and then retreat back up to Solarium. With this person, or you can just sprint past this. You're going to want a teammate to support you. He's going to hold your staircases and hold your window hop in. This person can also retreat back here at a minute 30. Now, even the two of you guys, you might still feel isolated. You want to know how to feel better? Have a teammate sit on site or anyone or even check it yourself very quickly. Check the fire cam and check the blue cam. This will make it so you can literally see any kind of danger in a five second radius. Use your ears for the library and check these quick. If one of these cameras are taken out, it is a good sign you need to fall back. You need to fall out. So that is how you defend master. Any questions, chat, on, on how, to, uh, do, how to defend master? Remember, hold on to the library as long as possible and fall back with a minute 30. Are we all good? Are we all good? Best solo queue operator set up on Shalai. There is none. As long as they can make a rotate, you are fine. What if they do a solo take? Where do I defend? If they do a solo take, the biggest parts of danger are big window. There can be person on big window, solar window, and bathroom window. Maybe even piano window with maybe a light backstab of a library. That's the maximum amount of solo take you're going to deal with. So obviously, if a person's isolated over here, this guy's an easy fucking person. But you generally want to avoid the line of sight of big window. You want to avoid getting cut off in solar from bathroom window. So generally, if you are going to play this position, you have to understand you can get grenaded from below. So you are probably going to die in this position. Another thing you can do is you can hold the solar staircase. If you hold right here, you can contest any person that walks in a trophy, and you can contest anyone propelling in. You can also shoot the ace charges off. But let's say you don't want to hold solar. What you would do is obviously safe from big window. You would sit on this behind the bomb right here. Now you are safe. 
and you can shoot drones and contest. But let's say the further they go in, and you have to come back to closet, you can't get a grenade from below, but you use these footholds to contest. If the big window is a problem, you would want someone to run out of a trench. Use impact grenades or whatever, be careful of claymores, and you want to apply pressure to the big window. Either that, or you just peek them with a rational peek, take them out. If a person is on bathroom window, prep these windows like this, punch it again, or you can just punch it here and then double hit the barricade. When you hear someone bathroom window, you hop out and smoke his ass. You take him out. You always want to eliminate some of the cover, that way their push falls apart. And then you just, you go from there. You take gunfights as they repel into solar. That's how we defend Master. Now, how do we attack Master? That's a very good question. Let's go ahead and move on to the attacking side. If you have any, have any questions on attack, please ask now. So what operators do you need to bring on attack for master? You want a hard breacher is required. Hard breach is required. You're going to want two flex and an entry. Now, what does flex and entry mean? Flex means it's a flexible operator. You can go flank, you can go at entry, you can go whatever the team needs. What is an entry? An entry is a person taking the map control first and, and taking taking the ground first. Think of it as like the, you know, the, the scouter almost. So, I would very recommend that the Heart Breacher spawns over by Cliffside. The reason why is because I'm going to teach you guys two, every, but you must understand that every bomb site in this game has two different ways to attack. It is a direct or a crossover. Why is it called a direct? A direct take is because you are taking the minimal amount of map control required to overtake a bomb site and win the round. A crossover is you are taking the opposite side of the map first. That way, uh, it does make take more work, but you have more map control to cover. So generally, though, a hard breacher is going to want to take the least resistant amount, the least the least resistant route to the wall because you want him to stay alive correct everybody else will be taking the other map control of library so this is the master attack remember i'll demonstrate in a i'll demonstrate in a, a flex okay i'll demonstrate in a flex what's the better hard breacher to bring to master preferably it would actually be ace or thermite that way they make more of a, a bigger hole for you to vault the way that we don't have to vault over it however as long as you get the wall open it can even be a hard bridging gadget that is okay you can you can pick whoever but ace is the ace and habana are less vulnerable so step number one of a direct take for library always shoot your default cams guys first thing you want to do is take control of, of library your main goal is to take library first and take top fire just enough so you can get to the door of the bomb site. Now you might have resistance. What if what if the defender, remember like we talked about, are contesting up here? That is completely normal and you should be used to this. What you want to do is first drone here, make sure no one's in the rat corners, right? You drone the box, there's a person top blue, and there's a person top fire. How do you deal with it? You deal with this first by distorting them with some sort of utility, flashbang, Zofia, grenade. You want to do that first and then hop in and take the gunfight accordingly. By the time they get droned out about one or two times, they will start backing up. If not, and, it is just, and they're dedicating a lot to library, you would either rotate it to a different attack or follow through. Most of the time you want to follow through. You can send someone to this window on the roof, very, very cautious free. And they can see directly into here. Now there's so much pressure. Now, after you kill the two people top fire, or maybe they fall back and give you the map control, your next objective is to open up this wall. This is where the Harbinger comes in. That's why the Harbinger needs to spawn this side of the map. It is because they can stay outside, they can join for the team safely on a rappel, they can open up the wall. Now, if you come through a Cade, Bandit, any kind of wall denial, that's where you want to bring EMP grenades. 
EMP grenades are on cert certain select attackers that can dis disable any of that gadgets. Gadgets. Regular Thatcher EMPs work too. If you don't have EMPs, go below. Either go below or send a grenade through the head holes that we made or, or earlier. You can just as long as you destroy the gadget on the wall. The, the floor is soft under there, so you can go under. You can go under. You can get rid of the bandits. Also remember, shoot default cams. If, after you take all this, you want to leave a flank cam for bottom lobby like this, there's a general one. If snowmobile is really a problem, you can leave it deeper. But this is a general one where you can see lobby, dining, and blue flank. When a, dead, when a teammate goes dead, instead of scrolling on TikTok, you want to be on cams. That's why you should not be scrolling on TikTok. Now, after you get the wall open, what's the next step? You can... Now that you got the wall open, the opportunity to plant is valid. The default plant is right here because it's called a default plant. A default plant is the safest part to plant in the room on a general a general attack. You have a bulletproof cover right here. Now, how do you perform this? In order, to, in order for this to happen, the counters are someone swinging this door, throwing a C4 or a smoke grenade, or someone literally just walking up. That's why you want to cover. You would want to cover from K9 door, breach, and a piano door swing. The way to counter piano, let's say they have a shield and you cannot get any cover, okay? You would, that's why you would bring grenades, flores, any kind of explosive to destroy the shield first. If the shield's not a problem, continue with the plant. For more pressure, you can hop out to the bathroom window and you can catch anyone off guard on this window. Throw flashbangs randomly if needed to distract them. Watch your runouts. This should all be completed in about a minute 30 of time if done correctly. So that is how you do a master over. The homework was already due. Anything turned in after now is will only be revised to a 60%. Hey bro, you raided my stream last night, and I have no words for how, pre how much I appreciate you. I'm stopping by to show my gratitude and say thank you for making my week and helping me grind. Thank you so much, and I wish you the best for your streams. Hey, no, no problem, man. Keep moving forward, bro. You're doing good. You're doing good, man. No problem. So, now let's say we want to do a solarium over. Now, what if we want to do a solarium over? A solarium over would conclude for the same operators, but this is how you'd approach the attack. When you first spawn in, you're going to want the hard breacher, remember, the least amount of resistance to get to the wall. You would sit on this repel, you're very, very safe, claim more of this run out, and you're going to join for your entire team. Because you can throw... You can open up the master wall from the repel very safely. Now, what is everyone else's job? One person should be creating pressure on Big Window to make them uncomfortable, and the rest of the people should be coming from below. The people below should be droning and taking map control of dining, west main, and kitchen. You had kitchen and dining. You would want to generally leave some sort of flank, a camera, air jab, drone, whatever it is. Now that that is covered, you're going to welcome work grenades below. Grenades below for, remember, the people... Remember how I told you how to defend Solarium? People will be in master, closet, or bathroom. You're going to want to pressure that by going on the bathroom window, master window, one of those two. Start grenading from below, create vertical pressure. This is going to drive them away. Once you create pressure and you drive them away, you're going to want to make your way up the staircase. Now remember, the bomb... The wall is now open. Remember, if, the, if there is electricity on the wall and you cannot get it open, do the same thing you do for, for office. You go below, or you bring EMPs. Generally, teams will open up the footholes here, so you're already good. You may substitute it for a Zofia charge if needed. What do you do if you're solo queue, though, like you don't know if you're doing, if they're doing a master take or solarium? You would still choose a take and do it by yourself. It will be harder, but it will generally take you on the best path for momentum in the round. 
It is better than coming through somewhere extremely random and hoping for the RNG of getting kills. You will find a lot more kills if you are in a proper manner to attack. So now that master is clear and bathroom is clear, this is and, and closet is clear. This is all the map control you need to start the plant. The default is right here. The default's on this bulletproof wall. You're going to begin the plant and you're going to play post plant. That is the take. Now, both of these attacks might seem very simple. That's why they are direct take. The easier the take, the more time you can take doing it. Obviously, I'm not saying stall out and wait the entire round, but you can be patient. You don't have to rush things. If you rush things, you skip steps. When you skip steps, that's where you lose the round. So, that is how you defend an attack master. Let's go on and move on to the next bomb site. Where's the spot of the electrified walls? Uh, it would just be that master wall that I just showed you. Let's move on to the wine and snowmobile. Wine and snowmobile. What's the best thing to do while waiting for the attackers to push? Most of the time, I find myself sitting aside just doing waiting nothing. You must have discipline, bro. Obviously, you cannot just sit in sight with your hands tied, but do not, you know, um, as long as you guys were contesting library side, you should have your time well spent. Now, if you find yourself about 30, 30 to 45 seconds, it might seem very unnormal, but that most of the time means most people nowadays in the meta are don't even know how to attack themselves. So you literally just got to make wait for them to make the mistake and just focus on the plant. Check default cams, uh, set your angles up, you know, make sure people are in crossfires, try to predict their attack as best you can, and there's no way you should lose. The only thing that comes down is the, the gunfights. So just check where your teammates are and check default cams and make sure you're in a spot to best counter their attack. But you, you must stay disciplined. You cannot be peeking random stuff because you're bored. All right, why not snowmobile? Defense. What, what operators are we going to need on defense? It's going to be a little bit different for Master. You need wall denial, which is required, two trap operators, a projectile denial, and a frag or roamer. Let's go ahead and demonstrate with... Bandit bar. Yeah, let's do that. Panda with the sub. JX with the gifted. Lexus thinks with the sub. Trent Dog with the sub. Tokyo with the sub. Sheepbot with the sub. Ghost with the sub. Slick Shot with the sub. Extra Oreo with the sub. Cheer Monkey with the sub. Hero Guy with the sub. Murray with the sub. Tori with the sub. Thank you guys for being subs. So, let's go ahead and set up the bomb site. Reinforce these two walls to cut off the long angle. Cut off the line wall. Now this is very controversial. Should you reinforce this wall or not? In high ranks, and you are confident in your gun skill, you can make head holes. These head holes are so you can contest the breach easier and contest main stairs easier. Now, these head holes will work against you if you do not know how it plays correctly. You have to be playing them with cover. You cannot be peeking the breach recklessly. If you are not comfortable with these holes, it is okay to reinforce them. Koro, thank you for the five gifted. Yo, get some W's in the chat, man. Thank you for supporting the class, bro. I, you know what? With Koro's gifted, I, I, I officially announce everybody will be getting custom Chromebooks. W's in the chat. Everyone is getting custom Chromebooks. The library, the custodian are going to help. Custom Chromebooks for class. W in the chat. Going to make a rotate. The rotate doesn't really matter where it is. Just make sure as long as there is a rotate. 
Are ranks working? If you ask me such a silly question one more time because you cannot open your fucking eyes, leave my class. Leave my class. I will not tolerate silly worm questions. Let's go ahead and get both the hatches. This is this is very, very important. I can't hear the game. I muted the game so you can hear me better. Do not forget to get do not forget to get the hatches. Do not forget. This is very important. Yen, thank you for the sub. Now that the hatches are here and all the reinforcements have been used. This is where the anchor and the trap operators come in. The trap operators, you see how there are so many doors, so many ways to come through. Immortality, thank you for the five gifted, brother. I appreciate it. Can we get a W in the chat? More Chromebooks for everybody. More Chromebooks. Remember what we talked about about traps. Would barbed wire be effective right here? Think about it. I am an attacker. By the time I hit the barbed wire, I get control of everything. Instead, we want sound cue. Top right here. Wall denial. Wall denial will be for the wall. Wall denial will be for this wall too. Wall denial will be for that wall too. If you want, you can bring... Cora with the five gifted. It seems that we have a very generous support today from, from the, 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 the chats. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for funding the classes in R6 Academy. The school will thank you. Chat, we're taking a field trip. Immortality with another five gifted. We're taking another field trip, boys. Where I'm paying for the bus. I'm paying for for the, the, the sandwiches. School is just getting more funded, man. You know, we can pay the teachers more. We can pay the mods more. Oh, man. Students can even get a uniform. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Again, trap operators midway through the staircase right here. Now we have sound everywhere. Now we have sound everywhere. Chat looks like we're taking a trip to we're taking a trip to uh to to Clubhouse, okay? And we're going to be in limos. Coral with another five gifted. That's very generous of you, man. You know, it looks like it looks like everyone's going to be getting large pieces of pizza. Immortality. You know, we might as well throw a pizza party. Pizza party, okay? Pizza for everybody. Trip to Dubai? Oh, okay, okay, listen. I don't know if we have that much funding for Dubai for, uh, for a school trip. But anyways, now that we have our site setup done, how do you play into the site setup now? What are you supposed to do now? Your main goal for the roamers, the reason I said some roamers and traps... Basement, you don't really need to roam that much. You just need to rely on the traps because the bomb sets are large enough. If you are a roamer, you're going to want to try to delay West Main, Dining, Lobby, and Bar. The reason being is because this is where most vertical gameplay happens and common entry points for attackers to walk down the staircase. Deny this as long as you can and fall back with a minute 30. Chat, remember... How long should you hold a roam for on bomb sites? How long? How long? How long? But let's say if they get the breach open or they get wine wall open, it is going to get very tight. However, you must persevere. You must be cautious on how you take gunfights. You have to take gunfights because you cannot let them get the map control. But understand this on certain times. Minute 30. Good, good, minute 30. If this wall gets opened up and this wall gets opened up, good points you can play is tucked on blue, waiting for the crossfire. You will crossfire with someone playing pillar. Pillar can also swing this too. A person can also support from here too. You do not want to be sitting here. You don't want to be sitting here. You don't want to be sitting here. No. If they're taking front bridge, you want to set connector. If they're taking... Remember, the reason why we're hiding in these corners is because we have no reason to peek. At the end of the day, they have to plant the bomb. 
But with as high with such high risk, with the breaches being open and them having advantage, you must take the most advantageous gunfight possible. Only peek if you have certainty in your gunfight. But for the most part, you want to be staying alive as long as possible. With so many walls getting opened up, you would best want to bring traps. Traps Malusi, Aruni, help make this door harder to run through. Jaeger Ruamai can also help from getting grenaded. That is how you defend basement. I already explained what Aubrey's need to bring in the beginning of the video. Please refer back to the YouTube. Now, any questions on Chalet defense? Any questions? Well, my or Jaeger, I said projectile denial. You may bring whoever does best. What's the lineup on the site? The lineup on the site is some form of wall for some form of wall denial, two traps operators, projectile denial, and a roam operator. That's what you want to bring. What about vert? If they are making vert very early in the round, your romas did a poor job. They should not be making vert until maybe like a minute left in the round. The Kahoot will be after the lesson. The test will be after the lesson. Is it okay to make a rotate in the wall of uh on the on the side and, and why and reinforce the other wall? Half closer to the door. Can it make a rotate? Oh, oh here. Is it okay to make a rotate here? In some cases, yes. Do I recommend it? No. Because you are making more work for yourself. You are heavily exposed to this door. And you're literally doing the job for the attack. The attackers can easily clear you with grenades. That's what the utility is used for. So I do not recommend it. However, you can if your wishes desire. Koro with the five gifted. Hey, Koro. Means a lot, man. Thank you for your generous support, man. Definitely. You and Immortality are classmates of the month, man. Classmates of the month. Immortality with the... Hey, listen, man. I'm gonna have to give you special treatment. Okay, that sounds weird, bro. <laughs> listen. You know what? You know in SpongeBob how they give gold stars out? You know how they give gold stars out in SpongeBob? You know what I mean? Like like the, the gold stars in SpongeBob? I'm gonna have to give y'all those, bro. Let me watch. Listen, man, this is R6 Academy, not Sneeko Academy, okay? Alright, let's go and move on to attack. Let's move on to attack. All right, moving on to attack. Memento Mori with another five gifted. We got a hype train going too, man. Oh my god, we we might be class of the month. I don't think any other. Uh, I don't think any other class is doing as well as us. I think we were the best class in the R six academy right now, man. Listen, man, we might have to do a Cancun stream. We might have to do a Cancun stream. Chat, type a one in the chat if you guys would like R6 Academy in Cancun. In the beautiful weather. Alright, so attacker. Who do we need on attack? We need heart breachers. We need double heart breachers, actually. Two flex and an entry. Now, what is an example? Also, we want to get our spawns right. Spawns are very, very important. You want to be spawning the closest, the least amount of running to the bomb site. Now, I'll go over the direct and the crossover. So, and the operators uh, work for every, every bomb site or every, every, every attack. So, the two hard preachers, who do you need? You may choose between Thermite, Hibana, or Ace. I do not recommend Maverick. 
However, he may be useful for the main wall. He just takes a lot more work. You want to choose at least two of those. Two of those four. Second, who would the two flexes be? The two flexes would be EMP grenades or explosives. The reason being is because basement has a very high utility rate. Shields, bulletproof cameras, Aruni gates. You're going to want to bring someone like Lion, Dokubi, Gridlock, or Thatcher, or, or any Osa. You want to bring, remember, EMPs and explosives. Now, who's the, who's the entry going to be? The entry is going to be anybody that can entry. Ash. It could be another like a grenade person, Ayana. The more grenades, the better. So now that we have our lineup, let's go, in, let's go ahead and explain. Let's go do this. Actually, let's go buck for this buck for explanation. Buck literally has everything that you need. So, what is the direct take? What is the right direct take for or the crossover take? With wine, it's a very direct big bomb site. So, the crossover take is also like a direct. But let's show what a front side means. What is a front side push? A front side push is where you attack the big garage on the south side of the building. Gonna want to open up main door for pressure. When you open a barricade, it scares the defenders that someone's out there when they're not. So remember, EMPs come in to help. Grenades from the drone hole. Now that we have the wall open, the plant is hard left. This might seem like a, a bulletproof. We have seen multiple default plants bulletproof, but this is not bulletproof. You can get shot from this. You see, I want to shoot this right here. You can get shot through it. Yeah, you, you can get shot through it. Let, let, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I've wall banged many people before this. I don't know why the bullets aren't going through, but yes, you can wall bang. You can wall bang people through this. There are my bullets. There they are. You see, right here. My bullets are right here. Let's say I'm wall banging this. Maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, there you go. Now bullets are going through. Yes, you can wall bang it. So a front side, all you really need to do is have someone outside main door, clear the person main stairs, clear the person in this corner, and have a gun pointing at blue. Clear the person in the connector, or at least watch it with a grenade or a flashbang. You're going to want to use smokes or some sort of flashbang to make some cover here. Now, planting like this is very risky because it is very easy to counter. Especially when these ha they have these holes open like this. It's very easy to counter. However, that's why you got to dedicate all five people to this push. Even four. Maybe have one person backstabbing blue for more pressure. Now, let's say if we're not doing a front take and we wanted to do a different take. Let's say we want to do a back take. It is totally okay to open up the front because you have enough hard breaching gadgets to do it. Remember what I told you about ghost pressure on the front barricade. When this whole wall is open, they are completely going to have constant fear on the front wall. You may leave one person here, you may not. It is optional up to you. How would you take a backside now? To take a backside, it takes a little bit more control. However, you get better angles and plant cover. You're going to want a flex and the entry to take top trophy in West Main. They will take top floor and make sure no one is coming through. If you plan on and in your, your goal should be to open up this hatch. If you do not have enough manpower to clear and you are by yourself, you may just sit outside the West Main window with a camera waiting outside this window for anyone flagging West Main. The rest of the, the rest of the attackers, remember two hard breachers, two flex, one entry. One person can flank watch. Everyone else is using their EMPs, heart breaching gadgets, and explosives to dismantle the bomb site. First thing you want to do is to entry from Big Garage. Make sure Big Garage is clear. There tends to be a hiding Cavera man here. People like to swing out this door. If you have people contesting this doorway a lot, open up the trench wall. This wall, this door should be opened up first thing in the morning. 
after this is open, the defenders have scooted back in sight. Now that they've scooted back, there's most likely going to be electricity or a meat jammer on these walls. This is where the EMPs come in. EMPs, boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's get the wall open. Ace, uh, you get this wall open too. First priority wall, if you have to choose between one, open up this wall. You want the long angle. Now, let's say they have a shield and a zombies you need to clear. This is where the floor is, or the grenades come in handy. Or the gone six. After all this is clear, you're gonna want to kill the pillar guy. Kill him. Mods, skin this guy. Alright? Kill this person. Now that now that, that guy is, is gone out of pillar, all you need to do is hold this angle to make sure no one spreads by. You're also gonna want to hold blue door. You can hold blue door from the breach like this. And maybe one person watching pillar. You just want to have some way to deny. Now that pillar is dead, this is all the map control we need. We're not getting flanked, and all of the con con cover, er, cover is covered. We're going to go and plant behind this big bulletproof of cover. Bottom is down, and you successfully won the round after the post plant. Mortality, thanks for the gifted. That is how you attack. Any questions on the attack? For basement. No questions? All right, let's go and move on. Now moving on the dining. Probably move my camera up here now. On to dining now. What operators do you need on dining? You're going to need trap operator, trap operator, anchor, roam, roam. The reason why you want so many roams and traps is because you're not going to be playing the bomb site. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean by that? Let me show you, brother. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So, generally, you're going to want the anchor and one trap operator holding sight. You heard me. Three people are going to be roaming. Wow, warden mains are cheering and delight. Warden happy noises in chat. Gotta make footholds here. Now, this is the first variant of footholds that we've seen. What do footholds mean and when would you do them? Footholds are for one-way angles on a certain side. Anybody walking through here is going to have a very hard time seeing through. But anybody on the other side are going to be able to see their big sloppy toes. You're going to be the toe collector. Now, I'm going to reinforce the main wall. Going to make head holes. Guys, also stop making rotates. Like it's tic-tac-toe, okay? Stop doing this. Wait, that was actually a good rotate. Anyways, but what I mean by that is you want to do like a circular motion. You want to do a circular motion. That way you can destroy more of the wall. Now this is a big mistake. You do not want to be reinforcing off trophy. Do not, by the love of God, do not reinforce off trophy. You want to make head holes. That way you can see the trophy window hop in. And then 
some dining holes or some kitchen holes like this. The reason being is so that way you can see all the way through to this door. And you can see the kitchen hatch drop. Next, holes on the left side, reinforce the right. Why? Because we want cover from West Main. You don't want to get wall banked from the West Main window right here. You want to be able to support your teammates all the way back here. So now that we have site cover down, you want to add the toppings. Any kind of trap or beeper on areas where you're not going to be playing very often is very important. For example, you don't want to sneak someone sneaking up. Toss one of them things right here. As long as they're not King George, they should be able to trigger off the alarm. So, that's what the anchor is supposed to do. What are the roamers supposed to do? What are the roamers supposed to do? You're going to want to roam the entire map. Yes, you heard me. The entire map. You're not going to want to stay there, but the entire map. Chat, can we uh, remember how long should you hold on to a roam? Generally, how long should you hold on to a roam? So, the three people left in sight, where should they roam? The first person should be roaming lobby and games. The second person should be roaming top fire. The third person, minute 30, correct, gold star. The third person should be roaming up top master. You see how you have all everywhere controlled. But why not the basement? The basement is irrelevant. That's why you just put traps there just to fill that spot in because no one's playing there. Now we have five reinforcements left. Where should you use it? Office wall. Why the office wall? This is not the bomb site. Because you want to prevent them from making vertical play. Vertical play is very, very strong. Why do you have to why, 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 why defend vertical play? It's not that strong, right? Shut up, you worm. Listen. Listen to class, bro. Vertical play can literally flush out anybody under it. You don't want that happening to the defense. Same thing right here. Uh, these head holes are optional. You can make them if you want. Uh, you want to rotate here. Also, reinforce the hatch. 99% of the time, reinforce the hatch because remember, when we give it up in a minute 30, you don't want the attackers to, to have it. You're like blue balling them. You're like... It's like... It's like cha it's like luring a dog with a bone. Hey, hey, come over here. Come over here. Come clear us up here. By the time they come over here and they take the map control, hey, where's the bone? Boom. Reinforced hatch. So, and if they don't clear you up here, good. You know why? Because then you can do this as, an, as a defender. <laughs> no default plan for you. Oh, they're coming through my door? E -e 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 -e. Boom. Gone. Thanos snapped. Gone. So yeah, let's say, uh, but let's say the vertical play is not helping. You, as a roamer, come down here. And boom. Dead. Whole team ace. So yeah, that is how you defend dining. Any questions on defending dining? Any questions? Professor, it's 6.30 a.m. Is it okay if I skip rest of class for today? I swear I'll catch up. That's okay. As long as you catch up on the YouTube. Right here. Catch up on the YouTube. What's an anchor op? An anchor op is a person... What does an anchor do? What is the definition of an anchor? An anchor sits in one spot. An operator sitting in sight is an anchor. Now you would want to choose utility based best to hold down the sight. You're going to want to choose a, a three armor, maybe some sort of utility op that is very present. Maestro, Echo, Tachanka, Doc, Smoke. My problem with roaming is that I don't know all the routes, so I might be confused on how can I solve this. You just gotta get better, bro. You have to you have to know the routes. There's you listen, you cannot 
make up your lack of knowledge with some cheesy strat. You gotta play the game and learn it like everybody else. There's no excuse. If you're losing a lot, that means you can learn a lot. Let's go and move on to the attack. Let's go and move to the attack. Will this be on YouTube? Yes. On the YouTube channel right here. Chat, if you guys are enjoying the stream, put a W in the chat. If you are enjoying the stream, W in the chat. All right. How do you attack dining? Hard breacher is required. Two flex and two entries. Whoa, why so many entries? Wait, why are there so many? Listen, bro. There's a lot. Of, you got to take a lot of map control for this one, but it's worth it. So, hard breach, flex, flex, entry, entry. Hard breach. Ace, Thermite, Herbana is okay. Flex. EMPs, Explosives, Flank. Even more entries. You, you could honestly have four entries with the Flexes. And then two entries. Anybody that you can walk in the building with the gun. Literally anybody. As long though, don't, 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 don't pick Fuse. Fuse is terrible on entry. To demonstrate the setup, I will go Ace. Ooh, actually, you know what? E, 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 e. I'm the best zero man in the world. Professor Legion is the best. Athena is, I would say he's also right next to me at the top. Macy J, eh, maybe second place. Everyone else, last. Athena and Professor Legion, boom. Best zero man. Best, best, best. Step number one the hard breacher. The hard breacher will be entering from main door chat why would the ench why or, or why would the hard breacher enter from main door on a on a on a dining bomb site chat why would a hard breacher sit outside main door for the for, for the dining bomb site why minimum resistance to the wall of course of course, you don't want to put the hard breacher room clearing. Why? Because you can die faster. So you're going to send an entry and a flex to clear out library. You're also going to send another entry and a flex to clear out games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we taking two different floors at once? Isn't that bad teamwork? No. Shut up. Listen. It's because we're not taking the whole map like the defenders. We're only taking up to bottom blue top of snowmobile stairs and lobby the other two people are clearing top fire library and taking up to piano you're going to stop at this red line right here why because remember the vertical that we made to stop the plant boom now, one of the flex or the entries are going to open this wall. If it's reinforced, obviously use some sort of harboraging gadget. Now, we have bottom blue unlock. We have bottom snowmobile unlock. Boom. Nobody's flanking, bro. This is an extra cam if you want. And then you can see the top floor vert. You can see if anyone top them comes up here. Now, now that we have both Top and bottom. What do you do now? Don't we have to put the bomb? Yes, correct. You're going to have one person sit up here and hold the vertical. Make sure no one crosses here. If, if, if Alibi and Castle are making love on the master bed, it does not matter. Because why? Because they don't have vertical. So you can just leave them over there. Be sneaky and watch them on the camera. Now, the guy in the bottom in bar, the guy bottom in bar is going to be watching the flanks. You're going to be watching blue, and you're going to be watching down here. Now, after both of this is done, boom, now you're not getting flanked. What are the three remaining people are doing, too? The three remaining people are covering for the plants. The Harbreacher 
is going to be planting behind the bomb. One person is going to be watching West Main, and the other person is going to be watching the kitchen door. Now you have constant cover, constant, and then if one person dies on the cover, the guy inside bar watching these cams will move to cover, and a dead person will become the security camera. You see how the flow just collects? So that's how you do it. Now you can... Now what about the crossover take? That's the direct take. What about the crossover? I do not recommend a crossover. If your team is comfortable and knows how to do it, you may perform it. However, the, 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 the lobby one is just way more effective. Because dining... Dining is a bit... It's a bit... It's a bit harder to do. A bit more teamwork required. But if you were to do it, it's the same thing as a solo take. Have the per have the have the hard breacher or someone sit here. You're gonna want to take up to here, and just literally just take up the piano and office. Literally just take up to there. Kill anyone in there. Make vertical gameplay. Make vertical. Open up the hatch. And yeah, have someone watch flank up top. Have someone outside trophy window. Maybe even West Main window. You can even have someone West Main window. As a heart breacher, you open up this wall. Any plant inside kitchen. That is the that's the that is, that's the take. You may try whatever take you want. You can have someone come up West Main if you wanted to. What's vert 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 is vertical gameplay, which is where you open up the wall above them because it's vertical. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. Any questions about the dining attack? Any questions about the dining attack? So ram the floor above? Yeah, you can ram the... You can ram the, the, the ceiling. You can ram shields. You can ram whatever you feel like it. Whatever you feel. Just don't ram operators. You're not going to kill anyone. What do you do when you don't have friends? You make friends. Chat, you have to understand. There are some things in this world that you cannot just work around. You gotta put the work in, man. You gotta put yourself out there. Ain't nobody gonna do it but you. Ain't nobody gonna do it but you. On to the last bomb site, Chat, we will be having our Kahoot quiz after this. So do not miss that. That is a crucial part of your grade in the R6 Academy. Bar and games. Who are you going to need? You're going to need an anchor, anchor, trap, trap, projectile denial. You're going to need, again, anchor, anchor, trap, trap, projectile denial. Why? Why do you need so many heavy boys? Huh? Why do you need so many heavy boys? Because nobody's fucking roaming. Nobody is roaming. You're locking down the site like you're at home alone. Harry and Marv are knocking on your door. I... Just go and move. Secure area 1 strats. Wait, wait, wait. Athena! Why would I be sitting in the site? Isn't that what you just told me not to do? Oh, you thought I was just anchoring site? Oh, we're holding the whole top floor too. We're holding the whole top floor too. Start off with some anchor holes. Some holes. Yes, all the way, all the way. All the way, all the way. With a rotate. Is it this one? I think it's this one. It's been a while. Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Oh. It's for the stream. I 
Okay, so we have the... Is it this fun? It's been, it's been a very long time since I've done this. Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's 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 left. It's left. This has been a very long time. Yeah, yeah, it's left. It's left. And so you can get shot. You can't get shot from the window. All right, gonna reinforce that wall. This wall. Now this one is best if you just leave it soft. Otherwise, you can make footholds so you can see people walking in the mud. Alright, now you have seven reinforcements. Where are the other reinforcements going to go? They're going to go top floor. Remember, we are defending the top floor as hard as the bottom floor. But obviously, you know, they got a plan, so you would choose the bottom floor last. Rise resort. You see how it's the same reinforcements every single time? It's because the way you hold map control does not change, regardless of the bomb site. Why so many head ups? Yo, what is blood babbing about? What is blood blapping about? Why so many holes? It's because of this, bro. You leave this one soft, by the way. You don't touch this one. Um, yeah, four reinforcements left. So where are you going to use it? You're going to want to use it for top office right here first. All right. Now you have two reinforcements left. Where do you use them? Do you use them for top fire or do you use them for bottom dining? The answer is they are optional. They're not required. You should not die reinforcing them. They are optional. If you have time, set them up. Now, why do we need two anchors and two traps? This is why. Because one person is going to be anchoring top library like this you hold top library with extra armor and the projectile denial will help you out with getting grenaded by our jaeger a zombie is very very helpful for this one as an anchor by the way you might want to use a zombie oh also yeah you reinforce the bar hatch i forgot to say that but yeah use the bar hatch and then you have one reinforce left just leave the one reinforcement don't don't use it open this hatch do not reinforce open it why should you open it? So you can see games hop in and any kind of default plant. Okay, now we have the second anchor position, we top blue. If I have someone top blue and I have someone top fire, you have the biggest crossfire ever. Blue can help library. Blue can help top fire. Library can help library or fire can help library fire can help canine fire can help crossfire fire can help below these are very very strong positions now let's have the toppings on top where would the traps go good question you're gonna need two trap operators if you want to decide library window hop in piano walk in canine hop in Front door, walk in. Bottom, bottom basement, run up. Dining, you can honestly just barricade it. This one you could barricade, but optional for barbed wire. And most importantly, bottom blue. Remember, traps are always on the opposite side of the staircase that I'm on, so you get a sound cue. Now look. Let's say I was hands in the air like this. I would be safe. Why would I be safe? It's because I have sound cues everywhere. I have players everywhere, sound cues everywhere. Let's say, let's say I'm just doing this right now, right? I'm just chilling. And I hear my thorn trap go off. I immediately know where it is. And I'm good. Remember, we want to hold map control for about a minute 30. But with bar, now that we've committed so much utility to it, you're going to want to hold on to it for another 30 seconds. That is the minimum slash maximum amount of time required to slow down an attack's push. 
because now they only have a minute to do any kind of vertical play and translate to the bottom. Remember, they plant the bomb at the bottom. This is why this bomb site is super defender sided when played correctly. It is extremely hard to approach the bomb site without getting three guns pointed at you. Any questions about a dining defense before we move on? No questions. Good. It means I'm teaching correctly. It means I'm teaching correctly. Yes, I like bar. Bar is probably one of my favorite bomb sites to defend in a five stack. All right, moving on to the last slide before we move on to the quiz today, chat. We're moving on to the quiz here soon. Yo, chat, how many viewers do we have right now? Because the Kahoot can only allow a certain amount of people. So it's going to be first come, first serve. Okay. I'll have to make up then. All right. How do you attack bar? How do you attack bar? You're going to want a flex, 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 and an entry, entry. I know that's crazy. Flex, 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 entry, entry. Why no Heartbreacher? Heartbreacher can fill in one of the flex, but is now required is now required what are the two ways to attack bar good question we go buck so the two ways to attack bar we'll start with the direct we'll start with the direct what is a flex a flex is flexible that means you are flexible on your operator choice you bring whatever the team needs. Alright, so what was a direct take? A direct take is, honestly, you want to surround the building. You can come through the basement. Remember, this is why we want traps. You can come through the basement. And the thing is, with bar, with, with how spread out you need to be, you don't need to be that coordinated, to be honest. You just need to get picks. You can come through here and literally be in sight. That's why you want traps. If there's no traps, you punish them and you boom and you kill everyone on sight. You take all of their family. You kidnap all of their family in sight. Forcing the roamers to come back. Now, if I'm not going through the basement, I'm attacking library direct. Now, no, we're not hopping through the window because hopping through the window is literally suicide. Literally suicide with the hatch open right here. I'm getting contested from an unwinnable angle here and here. Instead, you're just going to want Hebrew for pressure. You're going to want to open up this window. This window will have a lot more sights. And you're going to want to hit K9. Hit K9. So that way, again, you see how all these windows direct to the top floor. Okay, but why I want to get in the building. Good question. We're going to get in the building. We're going to go through office. When you're in office, you can clear shields, clear the blue shield with Flores or a grenade this, and you can walk in and start taking your gunfights. Take this map control. Once you kill everybody up here, you're going to want to start making some vert. Make some vert. Make sure you're not getting flanked, by the way. Harpagen gadget if you can. That is not a harpagen gadget. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Or some more vert. Boom. Now that we have all this control, we can decide, okay, where do I want to plant? Where is the most free? Is it games? Or is it bar? Generally, games is easier because it's a little bit easier to get rid of the people in stock. It all depends, to be honest, on who is, where is, whoever dies where. You know what I mean? If the guy in stock dies, bro, that's a free plant. If the guy also, you know, like if bar is just clear, bro, you can really just plant anywhere, but obviously a little bit more risky. It depends on the cover and the situation. 
And you can also head through mud. A lot of people, this is a very like isolated place. If you hop in mud, you have instant map control here. Or you can walk in through main lobby door. Like I said, just surround the bomb site, however you want. Okay, but how do I, uh, how do I cross over? You cross over by starting solar side. What stock? Stock is that like where all the, 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 the beer kegs are. That little connector room, you'll see it when you walk in. So, we're going to start all the way in solar side. You're going to walk in solar side, drone bottom trophy, drone here, take the map control. Yippity yappity yippity yappa. Boom, 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 boom. All clear, all clear, all clear. Boom. Remember, this is going to be reinforced. You want to use ace, open that shit up, and clear. Now, we are literally repeating the same exact clear that the direct does, except we have a lot more map control to work with. This way, we can full invest in the top floor. Instead of all having your scavengers around different windows, you're going to want to actually move them to taking top fire in blue. And maybe one person to surround. You're basically surrounding the entire top floor with all five players. Flores, boom, take out the shield. Boom, take out the shield. Any kind of explosive... You know, hop in when you see the opportunity, drone, shoot, 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 and now you're repeating the same process. All right, chat, that's how you attack bar. Any questions? Any questions? All right, that is a wrap up on class three. We'll be starting the quiz, please. Guys, clear your desk. All phones tucked away on silent, put in your pocket. All notes, everything else, put it to the side. Put it under your desk. Um, we will be handing out privacy folders. Hey, can you... Hey, you, come here. Come here. Can you hand out these privacy folders around for people for their test? Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Everyone pass up the privacy folders. We'll be starting the Kahoot quiz. Clear your desks. I hope you guys studied. I hope you guys studied. Uh... Classic mode. All right, are you guys ready? Everyone pull out your Kahoot. Everyone pull out your Kahoot. Only 40 players can join. Only 40 players can join. Three. Two, one. First come, first serve. First come, first serve. First come, first serve. First come, first serve. Ten more people. Ten more people. Oh my god, it filled up so quick. Oh my god. Wait, I... Wait, how many people can I start? Wait, I don't know if I can... Player limit, player limit. Player limit. Holy shit. Alright. Let's get to it. Remember, this will be... This will be reveal on chapters one, two, three. Let's get into it. Yo, some W's in the chat for Kahoot. First quiz, W's in the chat. I'm preventing. No one can join. R6 Academy, let's get to it. What is the beginner site? Oh, fuck. Wait, I forgot to show you guys this. Wait, wait, how do I stop it? How do I stop it? How do I stop it? 
Wait, how do I stop it? Wait, there was there was one more. I forgot it. Wait, how do I stop it? Okay, whatever. It's all good. I didn't teach you guys this, but you guys should know. Wait, real quick. Ah, fuck, whatever. Master, basement, bar, dining. Correct, correct, correct. Oh my god, I forgot to show you guys the slide. Wait. Where is it? Okay. Real quick before we go to the next question. Let's just finish class real quick. Okay, the optimized site order. The optimized site order for beginner is master, basement, bar, dining. Advanced, it's actually dining, basement, bar, and master. Listen. If you are if you are on 2 3, let's say you just win the when you just win 2 3 and then you win 3-3, three, three. you never repeat the bomb site. You never repeat because they're just going to counter to your exact push. You never repeat a bomb site that you just got 2v5 done. If you got absolutely smoked on a bomb site, you never repeat it. You only repeat a site in the uh, if the error is correctable. Let's say you guys all died super quick. Okay, we can correct that by playing more passive. Oh, we can correct that by trying to keep the wall closed. But if you got smoked, just move on to one of these other bomb sites. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Next. What is the advanced site order for chalet? Oh shoot. Sorry, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's put it in there, in the middle. <laughs> Bruh, hold on. Do this. All right. Good, 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 good. I don't know who voted the other ones, but. All right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. How long should you generally hold roams? Remember, we ask this a lot. Well, the Kahuko music goes hard, bro. Bait your whole team. 15 seconds, 45 seconds. How long, how long, how long, how long, how long? How long, how long, how long? Who said 40? I right, 45 seconds is not bad. 45 seconds is not bad. Generally, by the way, generally, 45 seconds is not uh, a complete wrong answer. But yeah. But yeah. When should you let go of an angle? Oh, this is now back to lesson one. When should you let go of an angle, chat? How long? If you're holding an angle, how long should you until you let it go? Let it go. Hard scope by the motherfucker, 6 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Stream is a bit delayed, so you're behind on the answers. All good, all good. Oh, people have said 6 seconds. It's 10 seconds, it was 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you're just being unproductive at that point. Okay. Next, next, next. What is the best sensitivity in Siege? High, low, or personal preference? Voted. Who voted? Bro, I gotta know who that is, bro. I gotta know who that is. High as it goes. Bruh. Bruh. 
All right, Nathan is in the lead. Oh, by the way, if you guys did not know, the faster you click your answer, the more points you get. There's more than 40 people. I know it's like 50. I guess 50 is the max. How should you take gunfights properly? Peek and burst, take cover often, spawn peek, dolphin dive, or Randy Orton RKO. How should you take bomb how should you take fights? How should you take fights properly? I should add more time to be honest. I should add more time. Boom! Peak and burst and take cover often. Exactly. 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 What is ran what what what's Randy or an RKO? This is your first time hearing that? What is a dolphin dive? Wait, you guys don't know the siege terminologies? Oh, you guys better pay attention in class. Y'all better take a cut, pay attention. Pay attention in class. Nathan is in the lead. Nathan is in the lead. By the way, the person who wins this gets another Theno charm code. You get another Theno charm code for the people for the person who wins this. So boom, please win. Just win. Get the Athena charm code. What is the advised attachment for all weapons? Flash hider, compensator, muzzle, or silencer. Ay, 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 ay. Not too shabby. Oh my god, bro. Do I get the ranks played when the ranking is still down? Yes, Johnny boy. Yes. All the ranks are still included, bro. All the ranks are still included. Bro, you know what's crazy? I don't even have any stream delay. It's just the Twitch, na the, the the mobile and Twitch natural delay. You know, I'll get I'll next Kahoot. I'll put like forty five seconds. I'll put forty five seconds, and everyone else in the lobby is just clicking quickly, clicking quickly. How do you best handle tough situations? Control your emotions, slam desk, yell at your mates, or be racist. Yo, who said yell at your mates? Nathan is it no Nathan's getting an Athena charm. I think Nathan is getting an Athena charm. What should a beginner focus on the most? Take trend, basic ops and map knowledge, default takes or how to quick lean. What should a new player learn first? Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Why wasn't Swinger be swung here? For a beginner? Absolutely not. They're going to be swinging the fucking wrong angles, bro. Nathan is lot dude. Oh shoot, ball R6 players catching up. T is also catching up. Sheesh. What is not a factor in siege win loss in a round? What is not a factor in siege to win or lose a round? Sound, 
angles, mood, or your bank account. Wait, why did four people pick angles? Why did four people pick angles? Did you really think your bank account <laughs> works? Bruh. Bruh. Angles is crazy. Angles is crazy. You misclicked? The fuck? What does the Athena charm not include? What does the Athena charm not include? 15 pounds of lead muscle, getting rich, worm behavior, or extra aim and game sense. What does the Athena charm not include? Did I fail as a teacher? Did I fail as a teacher? I'm so disappointed for raising absolute worms. I did not teach you guys to think like a little peasant. And whoever wins this, they definitely need the Athena charm, man. Oh, man, did I fail as a teacher? What happened, bro? I don't, I don't know what happened, bro. How could I and how could a question so simple be misread? Oh, man. All right, last few last three questions. Whoa, wait, Nathan just got sold. Oh my god. Yo, T is in the lead. T is in the lead. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Damn. Look at the tides have turned. Nathan just fell off, bro. Nathan fell off. Theo. What should you be doing in drone phase? Find the bomb site, save drones, strategize ops, and attack. TikTok, feeding your dog, or the hub. What should you be doing in drone phase? What if dog go hungry? That motherfucker can starve, okay? You got a bomb site to find. Damn. T is in the lead, bro. T is in the lead, bro. Yo, chat, who do y'all think is going to win this? Archer, Dio, Tuya, or Nathan, or T? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? What should you focus on while warming up? Muscle memory, quick leans, reaction time, or game sense. What should you focus on while warming up? Oh, looks like this one might have threw a lot of people off. Yo, chat, don't worry. I'll probably next Kahoot, I'll add like 45 seconds. So, the time, if you have 45 seconds of time. But if everyone picks an answer, then it immediately ends. 
but I mean the Kahoot is mostly for people inside of the Kahoot, so. Muscle memory, muscle memory, muscle memory. It is not game sense. If I am in a terrorist hunt lobby, if I am in a terrorist hunt lobby where they are standing still in the same exact position on house on the easiest mode and they're not even shooting back, what game sense is there to gather? What game sense is there to gather in a terrorist hunt? None. Oh my god, Archer might win this. Bro, it went from Nathan to T to Archer? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, who would it Archer, bro? Eish. Eish. What should you avoid the most? What should you avoid the most, chat? What should you avoid the most? Proning, crouching, sprinting, head level, cross replacement, calling out frequently... Reinforcing setting up site. Allergic. What should we avoid the most? Woman's touch? Okay, bro. <laughs> That's just crazy, bro. Oh, dang. Wait, who actually said green? And good cross replacement calling out frequently. Bro, why why is this a popular one? Why, are, why would you avoid reinforcing and setting up the site? Avoid all contact from the outside world when you're playing a video game. Wow. That's crazy. Fuck mobile delay. I can't get above 700 points because of it. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I think I remember at school, the teacher would share his screen on the projector. And then we would see it. And then I have a delay on my screen, so I am the projector. But you should be able to see on your phone, right? Wait, you should be- or, or do you only see the colors? Wait, do you only see the colors on your screen? You should be able to see everything else. Oh... Oh, we can only see the color. Oh, so that- I thought that people were saying they can't see was like... Oh... Oh, oh, oh... Okay, so you know you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? We need to do this. We need to do the stage. Because when we do the stage, uh, then I can share my screen and then every, wait, yeah, I can do that, right? If we do the stage, oh, but then everyone would just join the Discord. Okay, how do I share my screen though then? Oh, share screen. Oh, okay. That's how we do it. Oh, oh, okay. So that's how we would do it. So we would do it like that. Well, there's no more questions. There's no more questions. Disconnecting then. There's no more questions, so. All right. Let's see who won the Kahoot. So it looks like I'll have to actually, like... I'll have to actually, like, um... Do the stage next time. All right, who won? Archer won. All right. Yo, W Archer in the chat. W Archer in the chat. 
Nice try, T. Nice try, to ya. Am I doing another one after this? Nope, this is the only quiz. Uh, the next quiz will probably be next week. Next Friday for uh, this. There might be a pop quiz. There might be a pop quiz. Um, I might do a quiz at the end of every lesson, to be honest. I might. I think that would probably be best case. Chat, would you guys rather have one big kahoot once every week? Or three small kahoots? Uh, after every lesson, cahoots every lesson, every, every lesson. What would you guys rather do? What would y'all rather do? One big one every week or three small ones? Every lesson? Okay, we can do one every lesson then. We can do one every lesson. Once a week, so the prize kahoot every once in a while to keep us in check. Mm, okay, we have we have a lot of we have a lot of debates in here. You should just run polls as a test for the test. Everyone can do it. I guess Kahoot is more fun. No, but then I can't. I mean, nah, Kahoot's better. Kahoot's better. Because I, well, then I won't know who voted. You know what I mean? Do both. Okay, we can do that, I guess. I guess, like, we can do, like, one big one on every Friday, but then, like, small ones in the week here and there. No, we're not doing polls. No, 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 no. All right. But, uh, all right, Archer. Um, let me give you an Athena charm code. In the... Archer, put your, put your name in the student hall. Come to the student hall. And uh, say me, Archer. Say me, say me. Where's my phone? Let me give you... Let me give you an Athena charm code. Okay, this better not be an imposter, bro. This better not be an imposter. No. Wait, there's two archers now. Wait, no, this is Archer Gaming. Archer's Gaming. No, no, it's this guy. It's this guy, right? It's Archer's. It's this guy. Okay, I sent you a clip. Archer's Gaming. Boom. All right, but uh, yep, that is the end of class. That is the end of class. But uh, yeah. Yo, chat. WRL class. How was that so far? Uh, hopefully you guys learned a lot for lessons one through three. Uh, we had a good week so far. An update. I will be in Cancun. Uh, from the third to I think about a week about seven days so we will have to do class over a laptop in Cancun so we're doing we're going to Cancun boys for 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 R6 Academy all right we're gonna be outside or maybe in the hotel we'll uh we'll, we'll be doing R6 Academy from there a little little field trip we'll be doing a little field trip like a little field trip but yeah, I'll probably have to do it on the laptop. I'll have to figure out how how it will be. So, hey, W in the chat if you're excited for the field trip. Obviously, thank you for all the people who gifted in chat to able to fund the pizza, the, the food, the bus. Um, so make sure you guys bring sunscreen. You're going to want to bring sunscreen to the next class. Um, you're not going to have to. You don't have to bring your backpack. You don't have to bring anything. Just bring you sunscreen maybe a snack so yeah but yeah guys that's uh that's the end of class thank you guys for thank you guys for playing the kahoot uh w quiz um homework what day is it? it's friday right 
Come on, what teacher gives homework on Friday? <laughs> what teacher gives homework on Friday? No, 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 no. No teacher gives homework on Friday. That's just an L teacher, bruh. Your homework is just to prepare for the field trip, okay? Your homework will be to prepare for the field trip. Actually, there is one thing. There is one thing that you guys can do as a, a exit a exit assignment to leave class before you guys leave go to my follow the instagram in the twitter that is your ticket to leave the class follow the instagram in the twitter that is your um i'll be posting updates on the instagram story in the twitter obviously so field trip permission slips yes the permission slip is by following me on Twitter and and Instagram. Those are the those are the permission slips. Yes, those are permission slips. So uh, type a one in the chat. I'll be I'll be I'll be looking at my feed. Type a one in the chat just to make sure people are actually doing it. And if you already are, then you're still fine. You're fine. Sinatra is my dad. Chris Boogie, you're allowed on the field trip. Joey with the field trip. Flores, you're allowed on the field trip. Sarah, you're allowed on the field trip. Feel free, freeled, freeled. What is the incident in the Twitter? Right here. Your mom, your mom signed yours already. Okay, all good. That's fine. JT with the field trip. All right, let's check Twitter real quick. All right, um, Jay with the field trip permission slip. You're good. You can leave. Fleck, you go, you can leave. Mete, you can leave. R, R, you can leave. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey. Where are you going, bro? No. Where, where are you going, bro? No. Submit your permission slip. Go back, sit down. No, I'm not letting you go. Go back. Yeah. All right, bro. Motherfucker, try to leave him, bro. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, you're good. You can leave. Good. What's Instagram? Right here. All right. All right, guys. That's my all, that's all for me for class today. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys on the field trip to Cancun. Hopefully, good internet will be over there. I'm going to let Athena take over. Athena's going to take over. I think he said he's going to play ranked or react to clips. I don't know what he said, something like that, but. Yep, I'll see you guys next stream. WW class. Um, yep, yeah, no homework over the weekend. Class is dismissed. Peace.